hello everyone welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to configure a semantic model or data model schedule refresh so i already have a video on how to download and set up data gateway so i'm going to just uh, give a background here that when you publish the report to the power bi service and you have a data file on local server or on your computer excel file then when you publish the report then it also published the data set related to that report to the power bi service and then it disconnected so it cannot refresh with the new data when you have the new data in your original file so for that you need to download the data gateway and set up the connection between two so data gateway can refresh the data if you did not watch that video i'm going to leave the link in the description and you can go ahead and watch that now in this video we are going to learn how to do that refresh by schedule you don't want to even click the button for that uh, data model that it can refresh you can schedule that so in a day like if i want my report four times refresh with the new data then i can schedule that on power bi service so i'm going to uh, show that here i'm going to open up power bi but before that if you are first time here on this channel and you didn't subscribe yet then go ahead and hit the subscribe button i upload regularly power bi videos on this channel so let's get started i'm going to open up power bi service here and uh, as you can see on my workspace i have this report i just uploaded now a few minutes back and we are gonna to uh, set up a schedule refresh on this semantic model so for that you can um, you can understand first what's going on here so if you do not have a schedule refresh you can click here on this refresh now uh, and it will refresh but we don't want it to do that every day or a couple of times in a day and that's why we are going to schedule refresh as you can see here the next refresh it says any because we don't have any schedule refresh that's why once you have it scheduled refresh it will show you here when next time it's going to refresh so let's click on this and now on this page on the semantic model if you have more than one report it will show you in that workspace uh, i have only one so it shows only one when i scroll it down i have this this option here gateway and cloud connection i'm just showing you that in last video we created that connection so this is my data gateway and i added my file of this semantic model to this gateway and so i have my um i have my refresh button here that is enable if you do not have a data gateway then it will show you here that you don't have any data gateway so you need to install that and even though after installation you you need to add this file here once you have done that that everything is in my previous video and once you have that then you can go ahead here uh, and expand this refresh button and you need to enable it currently it off so i'm putting putting it on and refresh frequency so either weekly or daily so i want my uh, data refresh daily couple of times so in that case i'm going to choose daily and the time zone you can choose uh, whatever is yours and now we are going to add the time here so add and let's say i wanted to refresh my data in morning eight o'clock so 8 a.m then another uh, i'm going to put it maybe let's say 8 30 so you can choose the time accordingly it's minimum 30 minutes because sometimes it takes long time if it depends on the size of the data model and connectivity so you have to have a, a gap at least 30 minutes and that's why it's given like that so 8 30 
now here on this if you have a shared capability it will allow you to to refresh your uh, model for eight times in a day and if you have a premium capacity then it allows 48 times so it takes at least 30 minutes and that means that in 24 hours you can do 48 times so that is that now um, you can give your uh, time uh, here by keep adding a line so i'm going to give a seven o'clock time here and it's pm and then um, here we are going to do 7 30 pm so um and then i'm going to apply here so it's scheduled here so uh, you can uh, go ahead and look at that so now it shows here that the 7 pm the next refresh as we set up here it shows 7 pm so this is all about the schedule refresh for the on-premises data files guys if you like the content of the video then please comment like share and subscribe my channel and thanks for watching see you in the next video